Hey guys, this is Keckling Cat, and welcome back to Broken Age. So, if the sound quality is a little odd in all of my ones, I'm still working out some kinks with the audio for this specific game. For some reason, my microphone comes in really loud, and I don't know why. And I have this all the way turned up, so there's not much I can do. Anyway, welcome back to Broken Age. Let's begin. Okay, last time we fell from the sky. Let's see what, if we can see what we did here. Oh, no, 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 no. Wow, I can actually go back up. That's crazy. Oh, let's see if we can go tell the one girl. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh. Almost. I don't have cloud shoes on for some reason anymore. That threw me off a little bit. Okay. Let's put those back on. I don't feel like falling through the, the cloud. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Okay, so no. Just out of curiosity, I wanted to see if I could tell any of them. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. Watch your step. Okay. Let's go see if we can... We're going to tell this girl, and then we're going to go check this one out. And, uh... See if that does anything. I know this girl doesn't want to be here anymore. So what's new out here? Are you making fun of me? No. Well, I'll leave you alone. <sighs> okay. Why wouldn't we tell them she could? She's free. She can leave. I don't understand why we wouldn't just say, "Hey, you know what? Yeah, I destroyed that bridge, man. I am that kind of person." Ah, oh, that was bad. <laughs> Oopsie daisies. Well, let's see. Let's see if we can talk to this one. Hi. Well, I'll leave you alone. Okay. So Just no. Just like Mark Chathra did. I'm used to it. So completely pointless coming back up here so far. At least so far, anyway. Oh, that's funny. Nope, no one's down here. I don't know where the other guy went. I think Federa booked it. I think he came down the ladder right after us. Okay. Let's talk to this crazy person over here. Hi. Listen, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had feelings, okay? Um, okay, I forgive you. Um, okay. I forgive you. Oh, really? Great! Hey. Who are you? My name's Bella. What's yours? I'm Curtis. Sorry. I thought you were a tree. Okay. Have you always talked to trees, Curtis? No. They only started talking recently. How can I cut down trees when they're screaming at me? Wow, that would be pretty horrible. Maybe you shouldn't cut down trees then. But I'm a woodworker. If I can't cut down trees, where will I get my wood? What are they screaming at you? All kinds of really personal insults. Like really over the line type stuff. It's been rough. But the worst part is not having any wood to build stuff. <laughs> God, the really mean trees. No, the mean trees yelling horrible insults at me. Ah. <laughs> uh. Listen about that big 
furnace upstairs. Oh, did another tree fall on my roof? Uh Nah, we'll be we'll be no, honest. I fell out of the clouds and crashed into it a little. That's cool. I needed a little fresh air in here anyway. Been kind of cooped up for too long, you know. Yeah, you got a fireplace that's covered that's like completely boarded up. That seems like that might be a little bit of a fire hazard there. So you're a woodworker. Could you make me something? Like what? Uh huh? Something practical but unique. I've got just the thing. How about? A nice three-legged stool. Mm. Yeah. I haven't done a stool in so long. Okay. Okay. Okay, make me a stool. I'd love to. If only I had some wood. Uh let's wait Catch and ask him that. Curtis. Beware the trees. Maybe we can help him out with something. I feel like I should get to know that guy before I steal his art. Oh, well, I wasn't trying to steal his art. I just thought maybe we could look at it. You using this axe? Not until those trees stop talking. Okay, then. Okay, we got an axe. And a ladder. And some cloud shoes. Please don't tell the trees I'm in here, okay? And when you hit the main trail, head east. There is an extremely territorial snake in the other direction. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Wait, east? Or was it west? Meh. Meh. One of those directions. Let's see. guy hasn't gotten mail in a while. In a while. Okay. I have no idea where okay, I'm going. Okay, which one of you trees has been bugging Curtis? Hmm. They don't seem too chatty to me. Let's see. Wait, is this east? Chop him, chop him, chop him. Nope. Okay. I, mean, I can't go any like further forward, right? Nope. Okay. Okay, now I see why the trees were freaking him out. Mm -hmm. Muffled talking. He's trying to say something, but doesn't have a mouth. I have a feeling I might regret this. Oh, oh, murderer! Axe wielding psychopath right here! Shh, shh, shh. He'll wake up the other trees. She's got an axe! Run! She's a murderer! Okay, look. I'm getting rid of the axe, okay? Just stop screaming, please. Ow! My trunk! I'm losing sap! Murderer! Why are you so upset? I just can't stand by in silence while you murderous humans mutilate my brethren! 
It makes me sick. Okay. You got a little something in the corner of your mouth. Oh, that's just a little sap. I'm not ashamed. It's thick and natural, and I'm full of it. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Please don't scream anymore. You can't silence me! I'm going to wake up this whole forest! Okay. I've never seen a talking tree before. Well, I've seen plenty of axe-wielding murderous humans, so get lost. I'm here on behalf of Curtis, the lumberjack. That homicidal psychopath? I once saw him hack an old lady to death. Wow. Really? Yes. A 300-year-old spruce, mining her own branches, then he comes along. And the next time I see her, she's a... Oh, God, if I say it, I think I might be sick. <laughs> say it. What did Curtis do to the old spruce? He... He butchered her. Turned her into a... A stool. Oh, oh God. I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. Hey, can I have some of your sap? You're just like the rest of them. You want to bleed us dry, steal all our thick, luscious, and incredibly useful fluids. You humans make me want to throw up, but I won't do it, because I refuse to give you the pleasure of my sap. Are you magic? Can you help me kill Magchathra? Is that all you humans think about? Killing? You all make me want to puke. I'll let you get back to your screen. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have asked him that. Please leave before I vomit, you foul, ruthless stump. Can I have my axe back so I can butcher him? <laughs> mean like that. Mm. Not gonna go back to Curtis yet. This guy's got some issues. He's all screaming at us, not doing nothing. So of course we chop his mouth. Thought it was a person. Hello, Shellman. Looks like Mob Chathra hasn't gotten here yet. Hey. Seagulls seem to really like fish guts. Mmm, mmm, fish guts. Looking at this chum trough makes me really happy I grew up in a baking town instead of a fishing town. I just hope my baking town is still standing. Yeah. These fishing poles are useless. All the hooks have been stolen. Oh, driftwood. So smooth. Ooh. I think we can use that. Wait for the tide. Excuse me, uh, Mayor? What? Mayor? Why did you say that? Because you look like a mayor. Hmm. I have to admit you're not the first person to tell me that. But alas, I am merely Maiden's Feast Marshal Dune, a humble man of the people. For now. <laughs> hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? Uh, great on you, it very looks fancy. Great on you, very fancy. What? Fancy? But I'm a man of the people. I'm never going to win this election if I come off as haughty and elite. Here, take this away from me. Thank you, child. I'm firing my stylus tomorrow. <laughs> so, you're running for mayor of Shellmound? My hopes and dreams, just sand castles built too close to an angry sea. I had hopes, child, but this What's construction that? debacle under my marshalship has washed them all away. 
Or let him go for now. Feast. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. Yeah. Okay, so we got a bucket and we have driftwood. We, real quick, are going to run back, I think. And give the driftwood to Curtis. Real quick. Before we forget. 